Hi, uh, my name is Savita Suwana and uh, for me the whole pregnancy has been a roller coaster ride. The to get from being getting pregnant to getting delivered a baby. I mean I never thought that I will ever go through this space. I mean it was very difficult for me um, throughout my pregnancy. I would say um, the day I completed third month, I started bleeding. I was like collapsed. I almost thought that I'm going to lose this baby, but my gynec, Dr. Meghna, she was like immediately, nothing is going to be wrong with you. Just go scan yourself, all will be fine. So being, I was staying in Miraro and the hospital was in Malad. Traveling from there was difficult. So I gathered all my strength because my husband was not around. I had to go rush to the nearby scan center. I did my scanning and I saw the baby's heartbeat was there. So there I just was positive. Then after a few days again I started bleeding. Again it was bed rest. Then the day, month, I almost completed my 6th month, 8th March, that's Women's Day. I completed my 6th month, I started bleeding. I was on bed rest from morning, Dr. Meena told me, just don't move from your bed. I was just lying all the way and by evening, my bleeding got very heavy. It was like, I was like, I told my husband, I think there is something very terrible that's going to happen. And we rushed to the hospital immediately. Dr. Meena checked me up and she said, the mouth is open. And I have to get admitted. I was completely shattered because I don't wanted to lose my baby at any cost. Because he was very precious to me after nine years of marriage, after lots of trouble, pain that I've taken so far. And I just said, it's not going to happen. Everything is going to be fine. I was admitted, I was on head up position completely no movement nothing after two days my bleeding stopped dr Meghna told me that we'll put a stitches but again there was bad luck i started having very bad contractions morning 3 a.m start the contractions that started it went off till 10 came down then again it went up and then my water broke and suddenly all the doctors rushed in. The NICU team was ready. Dr. Piyush, he came inside. He told me that, say, look, you have to be positive. You have to just think like, you know, everything is going to, you have to hold yourself. But that nothing was about to hold. He was supposed to come out. It was just six months. And then, my God, what to say? The labor pain started. I was like, I had to push my baby out. Again, there was a problem pushing him out. It was a very difficult situation. Neither I could push. I was tired. Nothing, nothing was to be done around. The doctors were waiting patiently for their baby to come out. And then there, a small, tiny baby, he came out. And immediately he was rushed to the NICU. I couldn't see my baby. I couldn't hold my baby for such a long time I wanted to this was my dream to have my baby and the day he arrived I couldn't hold him in my hands it was it was very emotional moment for me I collapsed by evening when I got up I was asked to go to the nice team I saw a small tiny little baby in that box surrounded by all the wires surrounded by ventilator he was so tiny he was just 740 grams i could never imagine that this can happen he was a premature baby not even premature it's called micro preemie baby he was 24.4 weeks baby then that day started a roller coaster ride for two months morning i used to come over here nine o'clock go in the evening reach home by 10 30 whole night i used to sleep nothing could be done i was just gathering the strength positivity 
that helped my baby to overcome all the difficulties. Then started, he was breathing issues, then infection, a lot of things. Only Dr. Piyush was just telling me, keep positive, keep positive, keep positive. That was just happening. And then the day came when he told me that now you can hold the baby. My God, that was the best moment. A small baby, I pulled him up. From that day onwards, I felt that nothing is going to be wrong with this. He is meant to come into this world and he's been here. So from that day when we got discharged, till then, till now, it's just positive approach that has helped my baby to overcome this as well as I have gained the strength. I have become more strong looking at my premature baby and today being the prematurity day worldwide celebrated, I just want to convey each and every mom over there that be positive because that's going to help your baby to overcome all the problems. If you think that nothing is going to harm your baby, then believe me, it's not going to harm. Your baby will survive all the difficulties. He will come out like a fighter. And today when I look at my baby, I feel really happy. I feel that all the doctors, all the sisters, everyone help my baby to achieve, to overcome all the difficulties. Thank you so much.